Hello everyone, welcome back, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca and it has been a while since I posted some DIYs on this channel, but I am excited to bring you these wall art, wall hanging DIY decor pieces. If you want more behind the scenes of things going on in, oh hi Kenzie, in life, I share that over on my vlog channel, Rebecca Jean, and there's a lot of day in the life videos and things like that over there. But for today, let's go ahead and get started. I will let you know which one is my favorite. Let me know which one is your favorite. I am using Amazon supplies, Dollar Tree supplies, dollar store, um, even recycle and trash to make these wall art decor pieces. And like I said, they're very customizable, just depending on your personal preference and the wall space size, you know, wherever you're trying to hang them. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. For the first DIY, we are taking some toilet paper tubes. Yes, you heard that right. By all means, a paper towel roll tube will work just fine as well. I used a paper cutter, cut these to be quarter inch thick circles basically and then you also get this nice kind of oval shape with the pointed ends so i just have an 11 by 14 dollar tree canvas here that i added flower petals and just created these little flower arrangements using a little bit of super glue gel on each end to glue the toilet paper roll circles down and make flower petals out of this you can arrange it in any order that you want this was super easy to make and i think it looks really great Now, this next one's probably my favorite with the petal idea because I used a much larger canvas that I ordered on Amazon, and I'll see if I can put the link for it. Um, but really, you can search for any size canvas that you want for your space, and I just made these little flowers with the toilet paper and paper towel roll tubes going all the way across like this. I ended up hanging this up in our bathroom upstairs, and I just love how it looks. It really brings out um, it's a very neutral piece of art, but the little bit of brown kind of looks like wood, to be honest. It doesn't look like a cardboard tube. It looks a little bit like wood, and it matches with our shower curtains so nicely. Everyone that has seen this has absolutely just like loved it and thought this was such a pretty piece of art. And I tell them that I made this with toilet paper, to toilet paper roll tubes, and nobody believes me <laughs> they have to like go up super close and examine it because nobody believes that that's what it actually is so i think it looks awesome and i just really love this one so this one is probably my favorite one i just love how it fits in our bathroom but let's go ahead and move on so another idea and i promise this video is not all toilet paper rolls but one more idea with the tubes the cardboard paper tubes so i made some larger flowers kind of with the same design just expanding it to a larger flower piece you'll see that i laid out a bunch of them and tried a few different designs and i think that actually looks pretty cool so i'm not sure if i should have left more flowers on here but i ended up just trying to make this maybe be a little bit of a simpler art piece and i ended up just leaving the three large flowers in the middle and then i spray painted the whole thing with a gloss white spray paint you can probably do like an acrylic pour on here if you wanted to just pour like white acrylic paint all over it. Um, you could definitely leave it the way that I did with the bathroom art. So very customizable. And this one I hung up in our living room and it's just like, it, it's kind of a very completely neutral piece of art, but it has just the raised texture. So I really love that about this one. No, actually I lied. I have one more little DIY art piece here using the cardboard tubes. So the ones that I had left over, I decided to do this small little piece here and arrange them to make just a unique little shape here. This is going to be a vertical piece of art and I'm gonna put it up on our mantle. So I don't know, you'll have to tell me what this reminds you of. I almost, it, it's kind of reminding me of like fish scales almost in this kind of a shape, but I just glued them all on with the super glue gel and just made like a little pattern on here. It's, it's almost like fish scales or it kind of reminds me of like a fire flame, like, I don't know. Like, like a flame coming up but so I tried outlining the edges with this fabric paint and I ended up not liking it the fabric paint just wasn't coming out totally smooth maybe because it's an older bottle of paint 
or I'm not sure why, but it just wasn't as smooth as I would have liked. So what I ended up doing was actually then taking a little paintbrush and just brushing the fabric paint all over the cardboard, basically the inside and outside. So it ended up giving it like a pretty cool look though, because you, the fabric paint isn't like completely solid. So it almost has a little bit of a chalky grayish white look to the design that we made which kind of has just a little bit of contrast with the canvas itself so i think this turned out really cool for again being a very neutral piece of art now this canvas um i thought this was a great deal i found it in five below and you get two of these 16 by 20 canvases for five dollars so i think that is a fantastic deal and i decided to i did two of them i did both of them a different way so for the first one i used some of my oatmeal color chalk paint and then also some rose gold acrylic paint along with this little back massager tool from the dollar store and i used that i rolled it in the paint and then did um up and down opposite ways here and just added all these little marks. So very unique, it kind of adds like a textured print. So it's not actually um, dimensional, it's a flat painting, but it, it looks like it has like a texture and dimension to the look of it. And I think that the color complements the colors that we have in our house really well. So again, customize this idea for your own home and your own decor. Moving on to the next one, at first I took this plastic bowl and I was going to create some designs. I used a pencil and a bowl to kind of outline and stencil some things on here. And I started doing that and I was going to come back in with paint or fabric paint, but I ended up deciding I didn't like how it was looking and I couldn't erase the pencil lines. So I just took some white paint and just painted over the whole canvas to get it just flat white again here. And then we can go ahead and decorate it. So so for this one, I decided to just make squiggly lines and it kind of reminds me a little bit of maybe like a map or something. This was interesting. I like how it turned out like this. However, when I put this one up on our mantle, I also, I felt like um, it kind of looked solid white because I don't know if it was because of the angle or just because when it was up on the mantle, you're standing like farther back from it. So I felt like the lines needed to be a lot thicker. So I did end up going back and creating a little different pattern on top of these lines that I did and just kind of thickening all of the lines. And then I think that that helped make it a little bit more visible when you're standing back and looking at the mantle. It's still a pretty solid neutral piece, but at least at this point, you now can kind of see that there's a little bit of texture on there. Now for the next one, I took this little eight by eight square canvas from Dollar Tree and I had some leftover material. I am using what's left from our shower curtain material. It's actually a regular curtain. I used it as a shower curtain and I also used it for our window curtains in the bathroom and the piece that I cut off, um, I am going to use Mod Podge now coat the canvas in Mod Podge and then glue on this material on top. And then I did another final coat of Mod Podge on top of that. Really easy to do and it just seals it in there. So it's like hard, sealed, waterproof. And I think it looks really cool. So I think it's also a great way to make some decor tie in with your home because like I said, if you do have any scraps of material from any kind of curtains or tablecloths, table runners, you know, anything that you might've been making or DIYing around your home, you can use the scrap of material to just kind of make a little coordinating picture or canvas, or you could frame the material. The next one is another canvas. And for this one, I'm taking two canvases from Dollar 
Dollar Tree. Now these actually have like a wooden frame in them so they're not flat canvases, which is perfect. I'm hoping to hang these up in our bathroom um, uh, matching. I have like one on each side of the sink on the wall and it's just a small wall space. So I think that this size is gonna be perfect. And I ordered the brown fabric paint from Amazon. I will put a link for it down below, but just know Dollar Tree sells fabric paint as well. You can get small bottles of it. They have black and white. They also, I know that I've seen like pink, purple, blue. But anyway, I ordered this nice chocolatey brown one on Amazon and I thought it would just give a little bit of contrast. So for this one, I kind of created like more of a teardrop pattern and I had them kind of coming out toward the middle and then also on one side curling up, on the other side kind of curling down. And so it's almost reminds me of like teardrops or like water drops, like a water fountain sort of. And here is how this one turned out. final DIY that I'm sharing with you in this video is one that I actually did I guess about a year ago now and it has been hanging up in our guest bathroom and I just absolutely love it so I wanted to share this idea with you again I found this picture frame in Goodwill and the style no longer fit with our decor so I wanted to change it up and what I did was pull off the back take out this art print which is really beautiful but I just wanted to mix it up. I wanted to change up the decor. I felt like it was a little bit too classic, traditional. I wanted something that was a little bit more modern and contemporary. So I decided to do an acrylic art pour on here. All you need is some either acrylic paint that you can mix with a pouring medium, which will help it flow better and, you know, just be easier to pour and smooth all over your paper. Or you can buy like this one here. It's a ready to pour acrylic paint. I have it in rose gold. I also use some white, some pink, um, the copper rose gold combination here, and just poured all of my colors and layered them into a disposable cup and then just poured that all over the art print and tipped the paper here to spread it out and then let it dry. So if your paper is really thin, this won't work. As long as it's at least thicker, kind of like a cardstock paper, you should be okay. While that was drying, I also spray painted the frame, which is really easy to do. Just spray paint your frame or paint it to match whatever your decor color is. I painted mine rose gold to fit in with our other decor and popped this art back in the frame once it had dried. And I just love how this turned out. The matting actually worked out really nicely, but you could potentially leave out the matting, replace the matting or Oh, you know paint it even I have done that as well I have another print I will pop in and show you right here I did an acrylic pour on this one and unfortunately I did not film the whole thing but I did do an acrylic pour over what used to be like a Tuscan wine dinner table setting and I just did an acrylic pour on top of that and the framing was kind of like tan and burgundy and so I actually just painted the matting white with some white chalk paint and it's not 100% perfect but it is like 95%, like 90, 95% perfect. And so I'm just really happy with it because it looks amazing in here. It looks so good. Everyone comments on it that, it, oh, what a beautiful art piece. And no one would ever guess that I painted over something that I actually already had. So hope those give you some really good fun ideas. Comment and let me know which DIY wall art decor idea was your favorite from this video. And if you have any other suggestions for things that you would like me to do here on my channel to share with you, leave those comments down below as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you so much for being here. I wish you a beautiful and a blessed day and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.